Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to add transitions between video clips using Magic's Movie Edit Pro 2019. So let's go ahead and open up the software and on my desktop I've got this folder with these few um, video clips inside. So we'll just go ahead and we'll set it at 1920 by 1080 at 29 frames a second and the first thing I'll do is drag in this intro so normally when you watch my YouTube videos you'll see this intro here it has some audio so I can easily mute the audio by just dragging down here I'm just going to zoom in a little bit and the, the duration is fine so the next thing I want to do is drag in a video clip so I'm going to drag this video clip in and I'm going to in order to add a transition between this video clip and the one afterwards in Magic's Move Edit Pro you have to overlap the, the video clips so we simply just drag and overlap them and sometimes it's worth zooming in a little bit and just have a simple transition like this so so if I were to play it now it would just fade between the two of them like this let's stretch it out a little bit longer so here you see a simple fade between the two if you go up to the effects here and then go to template sorry here then you see all these different types of transitions there's like 3D ones, there's all different types of shapes and transitions. I like to use some of like the more basic ones rather than you know, anything too fancy like 3D stuff. So let's take uh, for example this, this uh, circle from left. All I do is just click on it. I can actually click play here and it will show me what it looks like from A to B. So imagine this is video clip A and this will be video clip B. I can simply just drag and drop it onto this transition here. Then when I click play, it will fade across like that. So that's pretty fast, so if we drag it across a bit further so the transition is longer, then we can see it doing that a bit slower. So it's up to you. Normally I leave them quite fast, something like this. So let's take a look at some other transitions. I'll zoom out a little bit, drag this next video clip in. This one's a little bit longer. It doesn't matter. Normally I leave the transition around the same sort of duration on each one. Um, then we'll pick a different one. Let's take circle, for example. We'll drag that one here. Then we can click play and you've got this spinning dragon and then it will show the circle fade and then you see this next example so let's do a few more because i've got a few video clips in here let's uh in fact we've got three video clips so we use let's do this one the collision one so we can drag that anywhere on the timeline and just reposition it at the top here and we drag that over similar sort of duration and maybe we'll look for something a bit different um i quite like this one called particles so we drag that here onto this transition and we'll make it a bit longer and then when we click play here so this one will do its thing and then you get this particle one let's play that again <clears throat> so here you can see the particle transition so it's got some nice transitions in move edit pro 2019 the last thing we'll do is just show you that you can actually drag and drop still images so this is just a still image and i can drag that to here and then we can also do transitions with still images as well. So we could do something like, um, let's do a ring growing. Let's drag that here and click play. And then you'll see that ring effect there as well. So there's loads of transitions to play with. There's loads of different types. There's basic ones, there's 3D ones. So let's just pause this a second. We can take something like, um, let's say this swing here and drag that to here. And then when we click play, it will replace the old transition and then you see this new one but i, I kind of like the basic transitions either the, the the shape ones or the basic movement ones so these are the ones that i normally use something like a simple circle fade and normally add these transitions towards the end or the beginning of the video clip so that's pretty much it that's how you go about adding transitions between movie clips or, or video clips within magic's movie edit pro 2019 so let's minimize this We'll close down this folder and that's the end of this tutorial and I look forward to seeing you in the next DCP web tutorial.